YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's your boy Mike Lethal in the building, in the flesh. Um, man, I'm so sore right now. I'm super sore. I'm supposed to be in the gym right now. I'm supposed to be getting work. Uh, somebody came to the gym today that was uh, pre uh just came coming from the uh, Crawford camp, and I'm supposed to be uh I'm actually supposed to get some work with him. I just got back to the gym like two, three days ago. Um, so I've been in the gym every day. That's what I've been doing. Like I say, when I get back in shape, obviously I'm a post, I'm a posted and you know, y'all gonna see, you know, how I get down, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Um, but yeah, I just been, uh, just going to the gym. I've been back. I've been trying to take care of, uh, my car situation with, you know, I can't really leave anywhere or go anywhere like obviously go to illinois see my daughter and stuff like that i cannot go right now because every when i go that way to that certain area i get i get tickets and on my car is supposed to i have a 30 day thing where like i can um i can they they, they basically it's basically saying like i'm straight until a certain date but they not they not, um, they not taking that. Like, they don't care. Like, I don't know. Illinois is so weird. Like, they don't care about the fact that I'm not, I don't live there no more. So, like, why would I get a sticker? I don't live there no more. So, Indiana is trying to switch my, my stuff over, and they need my title. They basically need my title. Once they get the title, uh, I know I don't have the title. Um, it's, it's. Um, until my car is paid off, I will ha I will have the title when my car is paid off. My car is not paid off, so I do not get the title. So basically, uh, so basically, once they get the title, everything can get switched over to Indiana. My car, all that shit, because everything else is switched over. My ID, um, everything is switched over to Indiana, and I probably need to go get my. Uh, my passport uh, probably switched over just because I just want to have that switched over just because, you know, I'm not I'm not there no more. The location is, is showing on it. I'm not there no more. So I don't want to have that. I'm, it might give me problems. It might give me problems if I go out of the country because my uh, ID says one thing and then my passport says another. So I want to get everything fixed before, cause it it might pop up. Oh, he over here, and then they'd be like, uh, but I don't know. Something about the ID don't say that. So what's going on? So yeah, basically that's what's going on right now. Um, I'm going through, I'm going through that right now. So I can't really go nowhere outside of Indiana until. Well, I could probably go to Chicago. So the one thing is, I could probably go to Chicago, but I can't go into the burbs. The burbs, they doing too much in the burbs. Like I said, I got I came back and I was gone for a week for work. I got three tickets. So I'm not going back to the burbs. You're not gonna catch me going back to the burbs. Um, but um Oh my goodness, y'all. I got, it's a lot going on, man. I almost got into a deep depression. Um, So I had the guy come to my house, the guy that cut the grass, right? I had him come to my house and um, I found out some things um, and I was wrong. And one thing about me, I take accountability when I'm wrong. And I, and, and, but if I'm, if I feel like, you can you if you can convince me I'm wrong, you can. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I and I'm I'm a very like uh like if you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong, type of person. So the guy wanted to come to my house. I finally called the police. So I feel stupid. So I find out that so before I left, we didn't do we didn't really have communication at all. So basically the situation came out 
um, that that wasn't him I was talking to. I was talking to a scammer. And, bro, I had no clue. I feel so dumb I didn't catch it. Because it's so, it's so much in the text message that shows that it was a little confused about what I was talking about. So I didn't do good. We didn't do good. With, so it's, it's our communication. It's our fault. I didn't remember his name. I just knew he was a Mexican guy. And it was actually a Mexican guy that texted me. The, the scammer. He was actually Mexican, bro. The guy that uh, scammed me. So like it threw me off. I didn't remember his name. We didn't, we didn't exchange numbers. We didn't talk. So that's what threw the whole situation off. So I was actually, whole time, I was actually talking to somebody that, that was trying to scam me and he got me. Yes, I got, I got, got, uh, um, basically for 720. Yes, I got, got for 720. Um, the guy actually kept texting me. The guy was, the guy was still texting me. The guy was still texting me. Um, he texted me like yesterday too. I actually had a conversation with him. I said, yo, you can stop texting me now. Um, I just found out. I just, now I see you scamming. Like now I know, you know what I'm saying? I know who you are, bro. Like stop texting me. I already know, like, I, I just got done talking to the guy. The guy that uh, that cuts my grass, so I'm not stupid. Like, I already know you're not. You know, I just, I had, the man texted me, and I literally just got done talking to the guy. <laughs> like, it makes no sense. You're not the guy. <laughs> so, basically, I was getting mad. I got mad. I was like, he came at the door. I was pissed. I'm talking about like I'm 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 pissed like I'm ready to fight like bro you were talking all this shit in these messages like you were like coming at me like being aggressive about getting your money this and that so yes we didn't do a we didn't do a communication good communication so I thought that was him I made a mistake I thought that was him so you know obviously the cops came this is before I knew the cops came they looked through the messages um he he showed his number. He, sh he basically and his name. I didn't know. <laughs> Whole time when I called the police, I told him the guy name that was on um that was on the uh, in the messages. It wasn't his name. His whole name, like I like I say, this was a last minute person that I called to do my grass. So basically, long story short, it wasn't him. It's a scammer. They got it on file. They uh it, they they put in a police report. Police the police told me to call uh uh apple pay and so they could sort the situation out and i knew they weren't gonna get my money back he was saying that they was gonna get my money back i knew they wasn't i knew they wasn't gonna get my money back because it was in august the situation happened in august it's already uh november so i knew that this situation was gonna be messed up um i'm i'm gonna I'm be short with this because um i need to start taking care of stuff i gotta start washing my clothes um I don't have a wash and dryer right now. I do plan on buying one. That's big ass TV. <laughs> but uh yeah, I do plan on buying one uh pretty soon. I'm looking into it. Um this 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 situation though, obviously this the scamming situation definitely oh my goodness, it definitely uh set me back just a little bit because um that was set that's that's almost a thousand dollars that I basically got scammed over. And then I had to pay him his money. I just, I got, I finally got, I just got, I, I paid him like, uh, I think I paid him like 500 one day and then, and then like, uh, was it like two, six, 260 the next, which was yesterday. So yes, I got scammed. It wasn't him. Um, he was so confused when I was talking about it. Uh, he was like, yeah. And the police officer was like, yeah, you got scammed. He said, I, he said, I got a similar message to that. Um, to what you got, and um, it's all in my emails. He said, "Yeah, it's it's nothing but scammers. They doing this right now. They, you know, what I'm saying like it's around the, it's you know, and then now they definitely doing it now because it's around the holidays. So yeah, I got got for the first time in my life. Um, I got got. Not only did I get got for that, I got got for my uh Facebook and my uh Instagram. But that shit was different. That whole situation was somebody I was just talking to last week and they got hacked during that week that I talked to them. So they basically hit me back the next week. Um, 
And he was saying like, oh, he need my number and shit. I'm like, I, I didn't think nothing was fishy about it. I wound up sending my brother, um, I wound up sending my brother um, the message as as he was trying to, as I gave him my number and stuff, I'm sending my brother the message because he was messaging other stuff. And I'm like, this can't be him. I wind up sending my brother the message and he tells me that, uh, oh, he got hacked. I said, no, for real? He like, yeah, he just recently got hacked. Um, he sent me a message as well. And I hit him on his phone saying that, um, was that you? And he said, no, nah, I just got hacked. Because cause at the time, it was a lot going on at the time. My, my cousin wound up dying. Rest rest in peace to Jonathan. Um, he wound up dying. And um, basically, yeah, that, so basically, yeah, that's the situation. Um, I got hacked. I got my Facebook took in. I still, I can still look at my Facebook right now. I still got my pictures and everything. He just, he just took my email off and um, he has my, he has a profile pic of a white guy on there. But when you go to the pictures, you see me. I tried to, uh, I tried to try to get it back, but it doesn't work. They won't, uh, they won't give it back to me. Unfortunately, they won't give it back. Um, they're saying that, oh, this, this page hasn't got, hasn't got taken. It hasn't got hacked or whatever like that. So I'll leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? I lost, you know, my, 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 uh, biggest Insta, my biggest, uh, Facebook, I actually got my Instagram, my biggest Instagram took in, um, from me because he took my Instagram after. And yeah, I fought, I fought all I could. I, like I said, I tried to get it back several times. I took it and he, he, I don't know what the hell technology they got over there, but he literally like stole my shit. Like every time I would take it back, I would get in it. He would take it. Boom. I log, it logged me right back out. And it always showed me the location was in Lagos, Nigeria. So basically, it's somebody from Nigeria that took my information. I'm not finna keep rambling because I want to post this. But um, yeah, so my my every time I come back home, bro, I don't know what's going on, bro. Like I literally be going through. I don't know what it is, bro. It it gotta be a test. It gotta be a test, bro. Cause what the heck? I have so much shit that went on. I got so much stuff going on in my life. It's ridiculous, bro. It's really stressful. Like it, it'll put anybody in a deep depression. I'm not gonna let that shit do that. I've been depressed before. I'm not gonna let it, I'm not gonna let nothing depress me again. But this is ridiculous. All the stuff that's happening to me every time I come home. So you know, so you know, obviously I'm back home. I'm back home, right? So right now, I'm chilling right now. I just uh, filed for unemployment. Um, I got a couple a couple things coming in um, for me. Fingers crossed. Uh, I do not want to go back to work. I'm, so that's the plan. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm at the gym. That's why I'm training. I'm not supposed to come back. So I'm not supposed to come back to work. Um, like I say, worst case scenario, I will have to, but we're not going to do that. We're going to fight it. Um, but you got to understand like this money, the way it's going, the way it's been going right now, like financially, like, bro, it's been, bro, I just realized how I got a lot of bills, bro. I have a lot on my plate. I'm by myself. I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing what I can. It's stressful, bro. Like I'm literally paying my mortgage. I'm paying like now. I just got Wi-Fi. I got Wi-Fi. I got my car note. I got insurance. Now I told you I was gonna get car insurance when I came back. I got car insurance. I got um, you know, responsibilities around the house now. I got a um, you know, um, you know, I gotta take care of my house. I gotta cut my grass. Um, do all this stuff. I'm not gonna get. I'm not paying nobody to cut my grass. Just because I can do it. I'm I'm very I'm very like uh it's my boy just texted me because he just uh got done putting in work with the guy that I was supposed to uh be sparring with. Um he just texted me. <laughs> he just texted me. Yo. So uh but yeah, so yeah, 
basically, bro, I'm going through a lot, man. I just been, I need my peace right now. I just been, that boxing gym is the only thing right now. And obviously, uh, seeing my daughter and stuff like that be the only things that make me feel good, bro. Like, for real. Like, when I'm going through situations like this, it always helps. Like, for real. So, I'm standing, for right now, I'm standing in the gym doing what I got to do. Um, I'm going later. I'm not going. I was supposed to go this morning. So, I'm, so I'm supposed to do, like, two a days. Basically, I go to the gym. Um, I go in the morning, like, 9 a.m. No, not 9 a.m., 6 a.m. And then I go at uh, 9. I mean, I end at 9. Then I go chill. I chill for a little bit, relax. I'm supposed to be washing all my clothes. I think I might do that right now. I'm supposed to be doing all that because I have to, like, obviously, when it's time for me to go to the gym, I got to go. So I got to go to the gym um, later. I don't got to go to like 6, 6.30. So I'm not really worried about, you know what I'm saying, that. I got to go at, I got to go, oh, shoot, I'm over here tripping. I got to go at uh at 6 o'clock. I got hella time. I don't, I don't know exactly what time it is right now. I got hella time, though. Um, so right now, it's a lot I got to do, bro. It's just so much. I got to go see a chiropractor because my back right now is messed up, bro. Like, I'm, I know it's probably because I'm sore, but I also, I think I need my back adjusted too. So I got to go do that. I'm getting a deep massage, uh, a massage pretty, like, I'm really going, I got to schedule all this. I got to go get a massage. I got to get my back adjusted, uh, everything, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to get shit cracked, bro. Like, it's been a minute. It's been like a year. I want to say like a year, maybe two. I want to say like a year. So I really got to go. I really got to go make sure, because now I'm back in the gym. I want to be the best that I can be, and I have to, I have to, I have to go get, uh, I have to go get, um, like my body right, go get it adjusted, go get a massage, deep, a deep tissue massage, um, make sure everything is straight. Um, I got to, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just something I got to do. So that's what's going to happen. That's what's going on this. Um, I'm going to try to do something this weekend. I'm going to try to do at least one thing this weekend. That's the plan I got. Um, but yes, I'm in the gym. Um, I'm, I was actually supposed to go for a run with one of my, one of my, uh, my, my, uh, my teammates, we were supposed to go for a run at 12 or something like that. Um, that's when he goes for runs. Um, I do need to get back to running. I haven't been running. It's been a while. So that's why I said it probably wasn't best for me to go just because I'm not in shape. Like, like, bro, he probably would beat the fuck out of me. Like right now, just, just because, and I wasn't, and this is the thing. I wasn't like avoiding the beating at, at all. Like I'm, a, I'm from, I come from a gym where like we was, we was sparring like five minute rounds. Oh, oh, and sometimes we would spar until like they had Mayweather and them do it. If you ever watch the Mayweather um gym, they do it like where like whoever the fuck fall or whoever drop, that's it. You know, we we spar like that's how we spar like at the gym I'm at. So I don't care about like you know what I'm saying, like people being better than me or being more in shape than me. I've been there. I've been there, I've done that. So but yeah, I actually don't have a mouth guard. So like I was about to go, right? I look in the car. I'm looking for my mouth, my mouthpiece. I had one. I'm looking for my mouthpiece. And I don't got it. So it's already a little late. And then I don't got my mouthpiece. I gotta go to Walmart, go make a mouth, uh, get a get a mouthpiece and um a mouth guard and um melt melt. I gotta come back here, uh put water in a in a in a a, a bowl or something, heat it for five minutes, and then mold it. And put it in my mouth. All that shit. Like I said, going to the going to the store, looking for it. All that's time consuming. By the time I get back, I wasn't gonna make it. So that's what I gotta do today. I gotta wash my clothes. I gotta I gotta go get them. I gotta mold a mouthpiece. Uh, and then um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's what I gotta do to uh get back in the gym. Like I mean, to uh start back sparring and stuff like that. 
And um, so basically right now, I'm not really doing much. I Like I say, I would love to vlog me in the gym, but like I'm not, literally, I'm not working out. Like I'm not, I'm not going to show myself out of shape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to do it. I don't like the way I am right now uh, compared to where I used to be. Like you look at yourself, like if I look at myself like five years ago, You'd be like, man, this ain't this ain't you. Like, why why you you know what I'm saying? I'm tired. I'm not saying I, I'm I'm fucked up, but like I'm definitely I definitely need some more conditioning. Like I'm tired. Like like working pads now. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to just be that shit used to be natural to me. I just to flow. Like it just I never get tired for that. I would only get tired as far as like sparring. That's it. Like you know what I'm saying? Now it's like I'm hitting the bag and I'm like, after we got done doing our little work yesterday with the pad works and stuff like that, I was hitting the bag and I'm like, damn, I'm hitting that shit. I'm not being, I was just, I felt so weak, but I, you got to understand, I'm out of shape as well. So that's why I'm acting like this. But anyways, uh, I'm out here just doing, like I said, I just wanted to post something. Uh, like I said, I'm back on this, on this, um, YouTube, I'm back, um, doing I'm gonna do more posting uh like I say I'm I'm doing I might do come here and just do some workouts uh on my on my computer I've still got my Mac so like you know what I'm saying doing some maybe do some bully juice workouts and get back to um just get back to working out bro for real um that's the goal um uh, get myself back in shape is it's tough, man. I ain't in my twenties no more, so you know that's just the hard part, you know. But I don't really got much to say. Like I say, um, lessons I got today, man. Just focus, man. Stay focused. Lock in. Uh, whatever you doing, man. Be the try to be the best you can be at it. Um. For the whole situation I'm going through with the scamming situation, be careful who you texting. Um, that was my mistake. The person texted me. Um, I didn't really know exactly what my the guy that was coming my grass name, so I thought it was him that messaged me. So, yeah, I I wound up paying the wrong guy. <laughs> you feel me? So. That honestly, that really hurt. I ain't gonna lie, that really hurt. Um, for real, very. I'm very disappointed. Um, that definitely hurt, man. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just thankful. I'm still here. Uh, you know, can't complain. You know, I'm alive. Um, I actually almost died. Um trying to go downtown uh i wind up dying almost dying bro um trying to be like a speed demon on the road while it was raining and i spent out that was the most scariest part that was the most scary because i didn't know what to do i literally did i literally was like i literally i never i can never forget this day bro last weekend i was driving downtown chicago that's probably the farthest I can go. Literally. Chicago don't mess with me. It's more so the suburbs. So yeah, so uh so yeah, I go downtown or whatever. And um as I'm going downtown, you know, everybody going pretty slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I'm you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of space in the speedy lane. And I'm in the lane. I'm in the slow lane. So I shift over to the fast lane. I start going a little faster. I didn't go crazy fast. Uh, I just went a little faster than everybody else. And I seen this guy. He sees me. You know, it seemed like he was trying to, like, come over. He waited until I went over. For some reason, he backed up. It was like, it was like something that, like, told him, like, he backed up, right? He backs up. He goes a little slower. And there's nobody, there's nobody by him. It's literally nobody in his lane. It's nobody in mass. I'm, I'm, I'm towards, the, I'm on the expressway towards the wall, right? I do, I, I, I try to, I try to pick up my speed just a little bit more. I boom, 
my car loses control. I'm literally, I'm literally, I got my car, bro, and I'm literally trying to, trying to get it in control. It's, it's, it's like I'm, I'm, it's almost like I'm doing it on purpose, but I'm not. I'm literally drifting. I'm going sideways. I'm going like, and I'm literally about to smack the wall. Now I was lucky because nobody was in my lane. So it's like people, you could, I already know people were watching me like, what the fuck is going on? I literally lost control of my car and I was shifting to, to one lane to the next. One lane, the, the, the uh, lane I was in to the next lane. Back to my lane, back to the next lane. And I'm literally losing control and I almost slammed into the wall on the expressway, on the expressway wall. Now, kid you, I'm on the high port. So down, it's another, down there, it's it, it, it's still the expressway. So if I would have hit that and flipped over, I would have went down, the expressway down. So I would have, I would have fucked myself up. I would have, I probably would be dead right now. Uh, I'm very thankful that for some reason my car just snapped back straight. I don't know what, I don't know if I hit something. Like I said, I wasn't going crazy fast. I don't know if I hit something, but I literally almost lost my life. And I'm just so thankful I'm still here, bro. Like, that was crazy. Like, if y'all seen it, and it's crazy, I had posted a snap uh, bef like 10 minutes before that happened. I posted a snap on one snap. Boom. So, no, I wasn't on my phone. It, it wasn't like a, I was on my phone. I had posted a snap. Like, I was, it was uh, some music I was playing. I posted it on social media on Snap, and uh, I liked the song obviously, so I posted it. And then, like, uh, basically, I drifted after that. Like, when I put my phone up, I'm riding. I think I tried to kick the speed up. I might have hit. Now I might have hit something. It just seems so weird that it did that because it never. I've never done that before. I've never. Um, even even when even in the snow, my 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 car has never did that. I do need another car though for the winter time. I'm doing a lot of stuff, man. I got a lot of money shit, money shit that I gotta do for the house and shit like that. Um, like I say, the whole scam situation, I paid the person that that it wasn't actually the person. So like, I got a lot going on right now, man. I just paid the dude back. <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying it's just. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get on the grind. That's the only way to like, you know, deal with situations like this. Like, it's a, it's a lot of money out here, bro, and I gotta get to it. So that's what I'm doing, man. Uh, I'm not doing nothing right now. Like I said, I gotta go wash. I gotta go to Walmart and go get a, a mouthpiece and all that. And I'm a, uh, yeah. I'm going to figure this shit out, bro. I got to figure this life out, man. I got to do better. Um, I do have to find a job pretty soon. Um, obviously, because I own a house and stuff like that, I'm losing money, you know, more rapidly than the average person, obviously, because, you know, mortgage, mortgage, when mortgage is due, I got to pay it. That shit be, re that shit is like, like I say, that shit is a lot. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's nothing I can't handle for sure. Cause I wouldn't be going through this shit if I couldn't handle it. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of shit I gotta. I'm going through right now, man. Hey, man, stay, stay focused, y'all, man. Keep grinding, and you know, things are things will come to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I say, I'm back in the gym, boxing gym. Um, I will be posting me working soon. Um, that's pretty much all I got. Um, workouts. Workouts coming soon. I'm definitely gonna be on my reaction. I'm gonna be on my. I'm gonna do my reactions ASAP. Like I'm about to literally get my start setting up my computer, start keeping it charged and stuff like that. So when I'm ready to start reacting to certain things, because it's a lot of things to react to um, on on YouTube, and I'm doing that real soon. Your boy getting back to himself. Um, 
I just need, like I say, I got stuff going on. I just need um to just get them. I just need to lock in, really. That's all it is. Man, this is a 30-minute video. It was not supposed to be a 30-minute video. It's literally supposed to be like a like a 15-minute video. And I always go over the the over the time. But you know, when you're going through stuff, you normally talk a little more. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm letting it all out. I'm able to get it all out. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what's going on right now. Um I need more friends, man. Um I got one friend, bro. I literally got one friend out here. Um out here in the area where I'm at. Not 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 out here, but like I said, I got a friend that uh like I say, my homeboy, uh, he comes sometimes, he parks his cars, trucks or whatever at my house and we'll chill or whatever, like talk about certain things and um, you know, that's pretty much it. I think he only came once once. He only came once to my house. Um, but he's parked my his his truck several times at my house. But yeah, so we, you know, we uh finally had like I finally had like uh homie time and stuff like that with the guy. Um I need more friends, bro. I don't be fucking with nobody, uh, especially out here. Uh, I got a homie, like I say, a homie that actually introduced me to the gym that I'm going to. Um, that's who I'm actually was just texting me. That's somebody that I'm cool with. Um, but yeah, see, he has a family, so I know he doesn't have much time. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't have like time to kick it and hang out and stuff like that. Um, he's actually, I think, I think he's actually married. Yeah, he's married. My boy, he married. Yeah. Yeah, the guy that I'm um cool with, that I'm supposed to go for a run with, he's on on the team as well. Um, he's actually married too, so, um, yeah. So they everybody got their own lives and shit like that. Um, they be chilling. So like, yeah, I'm I'm rambling. So I'm gonna get off here. All right, y'all. It's your boy Mike Lethal. I'm out.